What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of PNTS Network and Hard Knock Digital Culture back again with another NRO Daily. This is where we talk about the latest and greatest in gaming news and give you our thoughts on the hottest topic today. All right. And today I want to talk about this whole Matt Booty um, APK email leak. <laughs> it's been causing a lot of stir in the community because. It was presented in one way, but then after further, I guess, conversations or research, it seems like that, you know, it, it didn't have the impact that people thought it did. But the question is, is it now irrelevant? Let's get in, let's get right into it. In the name of this video, that's going to dig into it is my rant. The latest fanboy lies and deception aimed to mislead gamers. But before we get into all that, please do us a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and rock those bells for notifications, please. All right, now let's get right into it. Okay, so this all started because um, our good friend, Steven Totilo, Totilo of um, Axios Game Reporting, and he's a newer game reporter, but I kind of like his style because he comes down the middle. He normally dots all his I's and crosses his T's, but this time he was just a little bit off signal a little bit here because um, it, it appeared, I, I would presume it appeared to him that he found a smoking gun um, in regards to evidence being presented by a group of gamers that want to block the Activision Blizzard deal. So for those of you that aren't aware that lived under a rock the activision blizzard deal is microsoft's attempt to pay i think what 68 or 69 billion dollars to acquire activision blizzard that is the home of games like call of duty overwatch and the blizzard mobile franchise right um and so therefore it's going through a lot of scrutiny with um regulators um some acting to block the deal all right um but that's a whole different kit and caboodle than what happened here Today, what happened was Steven came across this evidence that's from a group of gamers. And I think they're PlayStation gamers who are also looking to block the deal, talking about, you know, if, if Microsoft gets access to the Call of Duty exclusive, um, 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 if they get to own that property, that IP, they're going to make it exclusive. It's going to harm PlayStation gamers, right? Um, they had filed a preliminary injunction that got thrown out prior where this very same email was mentioned, but it wasn't submitted as evidence. As far as I understand, it was just mentioned. And that's at the crux of the story, because what some people tried to do today is they tried to use their understanding or their presentation of certain words because of their quote unquote expertise. And they tried to make it seem like that this evidence was already dismissed, not the body of work. Cause you can have your body of work when you file a case be dismissed, but certain particulars of that case or that body of work that you presented could be relevant. There just wasn't enough relevant information to make your entire case. So we got to understand that when a case gets thrown out, that doesn't mean everything relative to that case is immaterial or, or, or doesn't have any weight. It just means the body of work doesn't have any weight. And someone who's given multiple depositions, multi-million dollar cases for fortune 500 companies, all that stuff. I know firsthand. Okay. So with that being said, let's take a further look at what was the tweet that, that set off the firestorm. Okay, so this is from Steven Tutilo, and he says that uh, new lawyers in the game antitrust suit against uh, the Microsoft Activision deal have been arguing over Exhibit K. Uh, and it was like, why is that so important? Because it supposedly shows an Xbox exec saying the plan around buying Activision is to put PlayStation out of business. Now, it was later, I guess we could say discovered, but it was it was confirmed by Microsoft that the email in question wasn't specifically about Activision Blizzard. They surmised that it was from an email from 2019. I think other court filings that I did see or documentation of such shows that the email was from 2019. So I think it is safe to say to assume that Microsoft is right, that this email is from 2019. All right. 
But because this wasn't based off of the Activision Blizzard deal specifically, is this still not relevant? And B, is this evidence, was it already dismissed? And I would argue to both, no. A, it is still relevant. Why? Because the argument in this case is that Microsoft is is, is participating in an anti-competitive, uh, is pursuing an anti-competitive practices those that would harm PlayStation gamers. So that's why they, they filed that lawsuit. All right. And that could be evidence to suggest such if Matt Booty of Microsoft is sitting there talking other execs talking about, yeah, well, we're going to plan this or this strategy that we have in general is aimed at hurting play or taking PlayStation out of the market. You know what I mean? People talk about, you are supposed to outdo your competition and it's not unfathomable to, you know, do things that could possibly take them out of the market. Yes. But if there's substance there that says that you are, that, that you're willing to go outside of the bounds to do so, then that could be a problem. And this domino within itself wouldn't be enough to sh suggest that but if it's placed properly with other evidence this this could be vital in proving that case for the playstation gamers we'll see we'll see but that's not only the argument from the playstation gamers the ftc who's looked at the american regulatory that's looking to block this deal they're making similar arguments so again for the first point a is this irrelevant because it was mentioned in the prior case that got thrown out. No, it was mentioned. It wasn't submitted as evidence. And even if it was submitted as evidence, the judge didn't say, oh, that is inadmissible because it, it, it has no relevance to this whatsoever. No, 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 no. That didn't happen. Until that happens specifically to this evidence, you can't say that. Secondly, secondly, again, it wasn't even oh it wasn't even submitted as evidence now it's being submitted as evidence and this is where the problem lies there are xbox zealots and publications that are in favor of this deal that are cascading the truth i mean they're cascading they're not they're, they're caveating the truth i'm sorry and they're cascading only half the story and the way that they're saying this, they're saying, well, this was shown or this, this was mentioned. I'm sorry. In the prior case, it doesn't matter if it was mentioned. If it wasn't submitted as evidence, it doesn't hold the same weight of it being mentioned. And again, until this is specifically tagged as inadmissible, irrelevant to the claim specifically, then it, it shouldn't be dismissed. It shouldn't be dismissed until a ruling is filed and then even at that the whole body of work is the problem not necessarily any particular piece of evidence that goes both ways it goes both ways so here's my suggestion to wrap this up in a nice little bow you got to be very careful because i was going back and forth with those that are fans of this deal and that's fine you can be a fan of the deal but i always use the example of the tornado watcher i Tornado watchers aren't valuable because they like tornadoes. They're valuable because despite us not wanting the tornado to come, they are there to let us know where it's going, how much damage it can do. So whether you want this deal to go through or not, you need to understand the likelihoods and the reality of what's going on so you can make the best decisions purchase wise. If the deal is going through and you know what I'm saying? And, and you play on PlayStation, you know what I mean? Then you're going to have to, and you love call of duty. You might have to figure out something else, but if the deal isn't going through and you wanted to go to game pass, don't allocate your money that you would normally spend for call of duty and say, well, now I can buy this and now I can buy that each year. Cause it may not come to game pass. game pass. You see what I'm saying? So it's important to know what's happening when and why. 
Ignore these zealots that try to mislead you for their own purpose so you can go rah, rah, rah with them on Twitter. That's only a self-fulfilling action that does you no favors. Pay attention to the tornado watchers. All right? Because they're coming down the middle to, to help save you. And at the same time, you want to save yourself from believing too far away from the actual scope of possibility. All right. This is my suggestion. Whenever you come across an entity that is doing that, just block them. Just get in Rastafari mode. Block them, block them, block. Just block the hell out of them. That's what I do. And I don't miss out on any news because if the news is relevant enough, I'll get it anyway. It'll get cascaded to me anyway. And hopefully by the time it gets to me, Somebody would have kicked the tires on it and would have said, hold on, something ain't right here. And then I'm a better viewer, a better watcher, and also a better content creator because of it. So you ain't got to get it to split second that it drops. And trust me, if it's important enough, it'll get to you still lightning fast. But hopefully some eyes, some reasonable eyes will be on it before it gets to you. And you'll know that you'll be the wiser before you, you know, get disillusioned or whatever. Now, I'm not suggesting that with Steven Totilo. I, 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 hopefully this is a lesson learned. And I really like what this guy normally does. He just didn't have the correct tone this, this time. Um, but any other time, I, I think he's spot on. So hopefully this is a lesson learned. Um, and he's going to vet things a little bit more before he shapes uh, a tweet in a particular tone. But at the end of the day, I still think it's relevant. We'll, we'll see if the gamer case, the gamer case is a little bit more volatile and likely to pro probably be thrown out again. You know what I mean? I think the, the real weight is behind what the regulatories, the FTC, CMA, and, and so forth. Now we got New Zealand and possibly I think South Africa now looking to block the deal. I think the main ones that have any weight as far as whether this is going to go through or not is CMA and FTC. Um, but if they're going to refer to any of this, because Matt Booty is going to have to testify with the FTC, if they're going to refer or mention any of this and get them on the record, get them under oath to, you know, say something or either perjure themselves, we'll soon see. I know it wasn't submitted as evidence um, in, their, in, in, in the, the, the fouling of evidence from the FTC, but it doesn't mean that it can't be mention an examination and get them to testify under oath and possibly perjure themselves. Hmm. Interesting stuff. With that being said, um, again, hopefully now people can better understand because there's guys that I was talking to that want the deal to go through. They didn't understand. They were listening to the zealots that were misusing their experience and they was like, well, hold on. That evidence was mentioned in the other case. They thought that it being mentioned was being presented as evidence. No, it was just mentioned. It wasn't presented as evidence. And this particular piece of evidence was an attack and said it was admissible, inadmissible. All right. So they didn't understand. So you don't end up in the same boat as them. Again, anybody that's not telling you the truth, regardless of what you want to happen. Anyone that's not telling you the truth, block them. That's on either side. Block them, block them, block them. All right. With that said, that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. The lead to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, Cloud Dosage. With all that said, peace. Have a wonderful gaming day.